Hi. Yes, um, I work. For, I'm doing something for the Barbican. And oh, where's my tag? I'm just a young reviewer trying to get a, a very cool um, video going on. What is good, Barbican Faithful? I am Leon, your newest young reviewer. Today, I'm going to give you my thoughts on Jim Jarmusch Revisited, a contemporary music performance directed, conceptualized, and starring David Coulter, and host to an amazing band of musicians. The show pays homage to a career in film spanning over 35 years, put together by a man who has followed Jarmusch pretty much his entire career. David Coulter and his select team of musicians did their utmost to translate Jarmusch's ideology with minimal cinematography. The show starts with a lace-like curtain projecting scenes and scenarios typically found in a Jarmusch film. You can barely make out the band behind the curtain, and with the smoke projected onto the screen and the gradually building music, you almost felt like you were in the cinema. If it weren't for all the wagging fingers and bobbing heads, I would have forgotten where I was. This feeling is greatly intensified when Camilo Sullivan starts belting out, I put a spell on you. The curtain drops and the stage lights reveal twinkly eyes and the entire room vibing off this great energy being emitted from this wondrous lady. This electric feeling was matched by every performer who followed. Like main characters in their own John Moose film, everyone tried their utmost to make sure we were feeling what they were feeling in their performance. Be it Kieran J. Callahan's swag and overconfidence or Alex Kapranos' glee playing Crimson and Clover. After only watching a couple of music videos Jarmusch has directed, I can say little about his brand or vision on the big screen. To be honest, it's a bit hard to describe as well, but this performance, especially after every hip sway, precise finger cue, and even swing of the mic stand, I'm pretty sure I know what this guy's about. Jarmusch and, as a result, David, know exactly what they need to do to emote visceral feelings in their music. No matter what the genre, little details like plugging in the electric guitar to cue in the next song go a long way in trying to emote those visceral feelings. The one who emulated this style the most was Mulatu Astake. Even with problems with his instrument, he had everyone in awe and anticipation, even audible yeses when he started playing. When he starts playing, singing to himself as he does, he emotes these really powerful feelings of just joy and a man in his prime, someone who just wants to take on the world and doesn't care who gets in his way. To say I completely understand what Jamus is about would be a lie. What I will say is great films in recent years have put a lot of emphasis on structuring their entire skeleton around amazing score and soundtrack. Discover an OG of the art like Jamus through David Coulter and his amazing band put together with an amazing stage performance was an eclectic experience. My only wish at times was that I actually was watching a screen so I could put subtitles on. Some of the performers were a little mumbly in what they were saying. Not saying I didn't enjoy it though, and I'm sure if you know the songs, you will definitely sing along and dance. I know I do.